Hey guys, it's Spaces Sims, and we are back with more Tengoku Struggle finishing up Kikonosuke's route. And by that, obviously, we got the best ending last time. We're going to get our bad ending and then do the two additional little side thingies in this part. So wrapping it all up in a nice bow. Right now we're going to obviously get our bad end. We want to do the bad end first. Well, obviously we have to because one thing we can't unlock without the bad end. And also then the after scenarios, hopefully. Ooh, I hope that scenario isn't like after the bad end. Uh, well, we'll find out. Anyway, we started. I loaded up our save file one. So now we say, I'm worried about him. Oh, it's a bad. <laughs> Did you see that? Damn. I'm worried about him. Oh, right. We got the latest technology at our disposal. Let's try giving him a line. And then we skip. Okay. So. Because that was where our I'm worried about him was. Um, I Listen, you had a chance, buddy. It was about. Uh, Shin, my bird's downstairs screaming now because I came upstairs because I was going to record and then I went, wait, let me go get my mail because I forgot to do it. I got wrapped up with stuff at work. And then I'm like, also need to bring my trash in because I don't, I want to want to get it out there at like nine o'clock at night and be like, fuck, my trash cans are still outside. So I go to do all that. But when I go out to the backyard, he's fine. <gasps> it said bad. It wasn't happy. It said bad on the top up for that. Wow. Anyway, um, so I wonder what the other choices say, because they're not good or bad. You know what I mean? This is the only one that matters. So. Oh. oh okay, this is Azami. Okay, Azami was, hello, sis. I need to talk to you. Can we meet alone? I'll be in the alley by Kumanoi Temple. Oh, no. What should I do? Regardless of the circumstances, she sent this to me because she trusts me. That's the same. Oh, but I'm sure Kikonosuke is worried about her, too. Anyway, he put himself in his cage when I went to go out the front door to go get my mail. Because he's a good boy. He knows when we leave. I wasn't going for a walk. I was going to get my mail. It's fine. He could stay out. But he's like, no, go in my cage. I've come home, done stuff. Yeah, like, give him, the, like, ten minutes. He wouldn't come out of his cage. I'm like, fine. You're eating and playing with toys. I'm going upstairs. Now he's downstairs like, why did you leave me? Well... Suck it up, Buttercup. Anyway, he's going to start screaming at some point. My lady, is something the matter? Well, actually, I showed him the line screen on my phone. The zombie's probably unsure of what she, sh what she should do, too. I'll go alone first to try to talk with her. No, but... It's all right. As her brother, you know the most that Azami isn't a bad girl, right? Right. I'll do my best to convince her to come back. I'll line you right away if there's any progress. Or, you know, just follow me in about five minutes. Is she around? Doesn't seem like she's here yet. We're gonna die, aren't we? I hope those two patch things up soon. It happened right when I was about to take another look at my phone. <laughs> she lured us into a trap, the bitch. I said I was worried about Shin. Did Shin do this to me? Ugh. Whoa, really? Really? Satoru, you tased me? Really? You know, I mean, we knew he was shady, but I was like, he's just a shady little weirdo, like, whatevs, he's harmless. I figured he was just a harmless creep. No, I guess not. Well, fuck. Oh, no, you're not going to be the one, are you? Oh. <gasps> No. Wait, you're not secretly the... No, because, like, he was already in a scene and we would have recognized him. Well, we assumed it was him, I think. Did we? The guy that was, like, always donating a lot of money that was, like, top of the charts and uh, whatever the app is called. And then he, there was, I thought, a scene where he's like, oh, you go back to my hotel room, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whatever, to a zombie. And we're like, ew, is he going to be the pervert? Right? Because he already seemed like that. I thought that was him. I thought they confirmed it was him. It wasn't just me making an assumption. Because then I was like, oh god, you're not really him secretly, are you? 
but like I don't think it is. I don't think you're secretly anyone, but you're secretly bigger douche than I expected. I'm really disappointed by that, but you know, fair enough. Anyway. Oh, Enma, morning. Sorry I was a bit rough with you earlier. Huh? Uh! I tried to get up to find my feet tied to something. I, wow. Sorry, but you're chained up so you can't get away. You! Don't wink at me like that, you bastard. He is adorable. He's a- don't get me wrong, we've always known he was like a little bit of a bastard. Like a creepy weirdo, but like, I didn't think you were- I just figured you- again, you were like- You're like, wow, he is a little bit fucked up and a little creepy, but like, whatever, he's harmless. Harmless creep- but no, now you're not harmless and like... <sighs> slightly disappointed in you. The moment I start to take out my whip, I caught sight of a familiar school uniform. A zombie? I really wasn't sure what would have an effect on you both. You two aren't normal humans, after all. I gave some tasteless and odorless drugs to Izami. She's such a little kid and can never refuse anything sweet, after all. Whoa, my god, this was not a plot between you and Izami. You did this all on your own. Oh, no. Oh, god, no. Oh, no. I didn't think I'd be able to lure you with some food and try, and try the stun gun, but I'm so glad it worked out. Calm down. Stay calm. I can take care of a single human, and I'm sure a zombie would be able would be able to help if she woke up too. Ikari, why are you doing this? Well, I just have so many customers that I wanna get that wanna get a taste of you both. Oh the phrasing, sir! I know exactly you phrased it on purpose. That was not an accident. That was not like where you were like, whoa, phrasing. And you're like, no, that's not what I meant. That's exactly what you meant. That's exactly what you meant. Oh, I don't like this at all. Listen, this is exactly what I expected from this ending. Um, With the trigger warnings of like, pervy, weird, attempted uh, on a minor, you know, that. But I wasn't expecting it from you. Oh. Oh, good job shocking me, game. You know? Like, good job. It hurts more. A taste? Oh, looks like she's awake, too. Satoru, you drugged me, didn't you? Sis? Oh, yes, yeah, see? The Nishikikoji, that guy. That guy. That guy. Okay. He is the... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's what... I expected him to be the pervert. And, okay, he's here. So, okay, okay. But uh, I, I expected this. He's gonna come in and be a pervert. And you're like, yeah, I fully expected that. And because he, he did it at that one time. But for a hot second, I was like, wait. I didn't imagine that he was the one that was hitting on her... Being like, oh, I could take, I could get you a hotel room, whatever, blah blah blah. And I was like, ew, no, he's a pervert. Um, because I was like, did I just imagine it was him and just assume it was? And we were gonna find out that Ikari is really this guy. And it's like, but okay, no, no, it really was him. To okay, because we've never seen him. He doesn't have a sprite. But ah, uh, you're awake, Azami. You company present. Ikari, well done getting both of them. The black-haired girl is just my type. Oh, no! I don't like this! Ikonosuke, save me! Congress member! I hear she's the daughter of King Enma, yes? I can't wait to see what she's like. Oh, God! Oh! My whole body is crawling inside itself. I don't like this. He's men, and this is why we hate men, and I'm not, I'm not... I'm not not with her right now. I'm pretty much with her, yeah. You sold me off, didn't you, Satoru? No, I didn't. This is just part of the business. If you can't beat them, you gotta join them after all. Don't be ridiculous. Even though she died once already, she's still just a junior hire. That's what's so great about her. I'm only in interested in girls under 15. Ugh! That's film company. How many men are in this room right now? 
You got Nishiki Koji. You got a Congress member. You got the company president. There's a film company president. That's at least for. Was there another guy that we missed? And they're like, oh my god, they just keep coming. Oh, and that's what's gonna happen too. Ah, oh, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Remember in the last part, in the part before that, when we were like, it's such like a happy-go-lucky game, it's really weird that it's like, so bright and happy and there's weird things, and then we got here and the game's like, shut up, bitch! I'm like, oh no. Gross. Trash! I just love how cold you are, Azami. I'm gonna get you back tonight for all the bullying you did to me. Better trash! Girl, you are strong enough to cut through whatever they- Well, unless they're actual chains, maybe not. Are these the only people here? I'm sure that man still has that stun gun. But it doesn't seem like he's good with any weapons. If I stay calm, I'm sure we can escape. Look, we're already- We're ready to take plenty of video. Let's have an underground stream with both of you looking your best. Ugh, ugh, oh god, and you're gonna make child porn. Oh god. There's no way you can get away with this! You're fine with being being with me first, right, Azami? I donated so much, and I'll be sure to support you from here on, too. Die! I was a fool. I didn't even think of that possibility. Oh, good. Is she slicing him up? Oh, fuck yeah. Listen, listen, listen. They deserve this? And... I think we should not punish this girl for this. Go, girl. Slice them all to ribbons. They deserve it. Where's Tom gonna bite their dicks off? They really are idiots. They just love to tyrannize and hurt those they think are weaker than them. Or did Satoru really not tell you all about my power? Uh, sp spare me. Nope. A zombie. My wit missed by just a few centimeters. Azami stood there smiling. That was my favorite thing I think ever. It was like, spare me. Nope. <laughs> Happy and then she just slaughtered him. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with this. Go, Azami. Don't try to stop her, me. Spare me, Azami. I was just kidding earlier. Spare me. I'll do anything. I hate it when people grovel for their lives. In the past, when my father and mother pleaded for theirs, no one spared them after all. That's why I won't either. Ah! Zami, stop! I could understand the anger and hatred she felt. Even I felt it would be better if these men just disappeared. Yes, so like... I get it, you're trying to like protect her soul. And like, no, you're doing this, it's just gonna make it worse. But... Here's the thing. I would absolutely go to King Emma and be like, um, Azami was protecting me and herself when these men were trying to assault us, father. And I'm pretty sure daddy's going to be like, excuse me? I'm a bit of There's a special place in hell for those fuckers who tried to mess with my baby girl. You know what I'm saying? It's like, listen, if Azami just slaughtered men for no reason or they were trying... Okay, maybe King Emma wouldn't have some sympathy, but as soon as we were like... She was protecting me because they were going to rape me, Daddy. Uh, he would be like, Ah! Oh, special hell for them and a little crown for a zombie. I'm sorry. You can't tell me that, like, Oh, no, a zombie's going to be... No, I'm, I'm... She's a hero right now. Hey, whoa, a zombie! You won't be able to have a career in showbiz if you do this, you know. Well, funny how you still think that matters. I mean, you'd spare me at least, right? I guess I never told you the details about my desire, did I, Satoru? I'm able to manipulate cats and men. Satoru Akari, jump out the window. Azami, what are you saying? Sis, don't try and pretend to be a good person. What did these men just try and do? As she spoke, Akari began walking toward the window. I agree that these men are horrible, but that doesn't mean you should do this. I think it does. And unfortunately, part of me is like, but do we have to send glasses out the window? I mean, 
This is why Azami is better than me. Okay? No, Azami, do it. Send him up. Because he brought these men here, kidnapped you with the purpose of letting them do this to you. So it's not like he had you guys here. Oh, you're in the... And then these guys busted in and he was like, okay. Or they threatened him or anything. No, he willingly was like, oh, what up? Tased you, drugged you. You know what I mean? Was going to hand you off like this. So like he was going to try to be a pimp and to your unwilling whore. Okay, we didn't want, I didn't want to be a prostitute. You were prostituting me out against my will. Okay? Uh, and so, like, but I'm like, but look, he's kind of adorable. <laughs> but he is trash. He's worse than our trash boyfriends. Listen, it's like they put glasses on him because they knew. They're like, we'll put glasses on him. And then he'll just seem like kind of like a harmless creep. But like, he's kind of adorable with his glasses. And then when he turns out and does this, you're like, yeah, no, he really does need to jump out the window. Oh, and it kind of disappoints you a little. But like, he kind of needs to jump out the window. Uh, I get it. Yeah, I get it. No. A zombie, you do it. It's the glasses. If he didn't have his glasses on, I wouldn't. I'd be like, look, he's adorable. Whatever. Throw him out the window. But it's the glasses. I'm not just a suit sexual, I'm a glass sexual. Like, listen, glasses are my thing. So, like, if he takes the, make him take the glasses off and then I'm with you, 100%. With the glasses on, I'm like, there's like 5% of me that feels a little bit bad. <laughs> Only 5%, that's fine. Anyway. There's no need for you to dirty your hands. Have you forgotten, sis? My hands are already dirty. Ikari! I tried rushing out to him, but I couldn't move a step closer. I was chained down. Well, look what he did. It's his own damn fault. He's also wearing a cute suit, so it doesn't help. Bye-bye, Satoru! Ikari! No! And just like that, he disappeared. Sis, you're just so kind. I really love that about you. I imagine what it might be like for you to be the real sister to me if you become brother's wife, but... Uh, did she just kill me? You'll be lonely disappearing all alone. So come with me, sis. Azami. Lady Shinobikni told me something. That although people from hell can be healed and regenerate, it's possible for it to be too late for some people to do so. However, please do take note. There's a time limit on the healing and regeneration. If you do not enter the hot springs within 24 hours of receiving your injury, you will perish. She literally stabbed me. No, she couldn't. Sis, if you were knocked out with a stun gun, you must have been brought here by car, huh? A scent can be followed by someone who walks on foot. But if they're put in a car, their trail can get cut off and you can't track them anymore. That's why I don't think Brother will be able to find you. Zami, please. Let's both... Get out of here. It's not that I'm afraid of being punished. I just want it all to end. The prince never came to me in the end. The only men around me were trash like them. It's so funny that literally just the point about Shin, I'm worried about him, is what sets all this in fucking motion. It's insane. It says, you were my one and only friend. Please. Let's stay friends forever, okay? She killed me. She killed all those men, which I'm behind, but then she killed me. Oh, that was a CG, by the way. I'm sorry. I expected it to, like, zoom out or something, so I'm sorry. You're gonna have to go back. We'll see it. Oh, extra stage! Kikonosuke, are you ready to start? I mean, I... But that's funny that that counts as a CG. For Kikonosuke. Hmm. Anyway, Kikonosuke Extra Stage. Oh. Oh, there's voices. Azami mo. Tasukete yare nakute gomen na. Dou wabite mo tarinai kedo. Ossan to sensei ga yuun da. Moshi ore tachi no aida ni musubare ta ei nishi ga ketsuin ga honmono nara mata izure aeru daro. だから俺はこの町で待つよ。いつあんたが戻ってきてもいいように。
ずっとずっと待ってる。Now you can see the CG. Okay, holy shit. I cranked it up really motherfucking loud. I didn't even check like how loud it was, to be honest. I just clicked and cranked it. So hopefully that was loud enough、um, for you to hear his voice. Okay, so now we know when we do extra stage, crank up the volume. So I know you missed like the first line or whatever,、um, but at least you guys can go back and read what he said and stuff like that, and then you'll hear most of it. So. I do like his voice. It's very nice. And, like, but, like, I, it, the only thing I don't like about those is, like, well, now you hear what their voice should sound like. And then I'm like, yeah, that's not anything like. I mean, after, when we do it at the end of the game, when we listen to the voice acting, and you're like, yeah, okay, it's at the end. But now it's in the middle, and you're like, well, I mean, it didn't sound anything like that. And, like, whatever. <laughs> so, like, anyway. A particular middle school girl. We made it! Sis, this is the Asakusa Hell Mansion! <laughs> wow, it's really selling itself as hell. Asakusa's connected to hell after all. You saw the hell themed shops when we walked along Enma Street, right? But you need to watch out. There's lots of people. I'm sure guys are gonna try to hit on you. You just have to ignore them all. I'm with you today, so don't worry. I won't let any of them lay a finger on you. A particular middle school girl, and that sounds like us, but like an Azami, but. Look! It's a pond of blood! That's hilarious! It does look fun, though! How about we come in swimsuits and go in next time? Sis, are you feeling alright? I'm fine. I just. I feel like I've seen ponds of blood before, but there's no way I have. I've been reading too much of that blog. Did we. Disappear, and are we? Is this me and a zombie reborn? That's what I'm wondering. Like, because, like, Kikonosuke is like, I'll wait here forever. And then we're like, I feel like I've seen all this before, and like, we could have died, and now we're a high school girl. We're like 17, so it's been like 20 years. You know what I mean? Like, I'm wondering if this is supposed to be us re. Because, like, a particular middle school girl, a particular high school girl, I feel like we were reborn as siblings. Like, oh, that's, oh. You felt that way too? I felt like I'd been drowned in a blood pond before, too. But it was pretty creepy feeling. Maybe I'm getting confused with something I read from a manga. Well, you didn't really drown in a blood pool, but like you did bleed to,、uh, sort of. Yeah, I can see the parallel. Oh, wait! The poster of King Enma we saw back at that shop! Don't you recognize him from somewhere? You too, Azami? We, not, her name's Azami too? Oh my god. Actually, looking at it felt nostalgic for some reason. But that's just weird, right? Actually, I feel like I've come to Asakusa here before. Not like when I was little, but a long, long time ago. Too, Azami? <laughs> Sounds like there's something wrong with us. It's weird that her name is Azami. Like, because if you were reborn, you'd have a different name. But I wonder if we, like, because there's a CG for this, so, like, hmm. All right, where should we go first? I want to go to this haunted mansion, Hell Labyrinth. Is that okay? I mean, it's definitely, obviously, now that they've confirmed on her name, like, you could see where that was going, and then we called her a zombie. So, obviously, it's the two of us reborn. But that's cute, because then we're like, I want to go to this haunted mansion, because. Oh, it was like kind of like in the very beginning. Like, we kind of liked Kikonosuke. Like, oh, we trust him and whatever. But that was like the first moment we like broke open those chains and we kissed him on the forehead and everything. So, like, there's a special moment there, you know? Of course. Let's go. Here's what the CG is going to be. Are we going to, like, huh? Those two walking over there. Is it an illusion? Are my eyes going bad from playing too many games? No, I'm sure I'm not seeing things. It's been so. so long. Over here! Come on, let's go in and. Excuse me, do you remember me? Huh? What, 
a lame way you try to pick us up, idiot! Mizami, it's me! This... this person's a creep! Why does he know my name? Let's report him to the police! No, wait! I should have talked more calmly. What am I supposed to say now? Well, then I wonder if, like, we died, but maybe we didn't disappear when we were born, but if we went to hell, and then we were in hell, but we don't have any memories, we're back to not having memories? I'm just, oh, I mean, they'll explain it to us, I'm sure. Hey, Azami, but we weren't really a high school girl. We were 19, so, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but you and this person look so alike. See, that makes it sound like we're not, we weren't reborn. Stop, that's scary. I definitely don't know this guy. Or what, did daddy cheat and make another woman somewhere bear another child? No, I don't think that's the case. I'm over this. I'm so over this. Sis, it's dangerous here. Let's go home for today. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, the CG's adorable, but like, look at a zombie in the background. She basically just has his face, but has our hair. But we look exactly like ourselves. But Azami doesn't have the same gray, like, well, she had pink hair, but she doesn't have the same hair color as him, but her face and her eye color is still absolutely her. That's kind of amazing, though. So, like, we were reborn then. So that's what I'm getting from this. Eh, but we look exactly the same, and Azami has the same name? Wait, it's me. Don't report me. I've been waiting here in Asakusa all this time for you to come back. His little face and his little oh, oh, this hurts. What are you doing to my sister? Get away, you creep! He was only a chance. When I was told I might be able to see you again someday, now you'd still be a transient, but that there should still be some thread that ties us together. Okay, well that's interesting. So are we not reborn? But I'm a transient. But if I'm a transient, that would... In, like, if you were reborn, you all the rest of your memories would be gone. So, like, anyone who was reborn would technically be a quote-unquote transient. Forget all your past lives. Alright, I'm not sure exactly what's happening here, but... You're... I you never thought you'd actually be sisters with a zombie. It's just crazy. This person... Even now, I still love you. Sorry, I know it's creepy to be told that by a guy you don't even know. Weird, huh? When I saw you there smiling, I was just... overwhelmed. You... love me? I'm so glad you came back. I never thought I'd be able to see you smile again. I'm so... Welcome back, my little mermaid. Oh! Oh my god, that tugs at your heartstrings! It's like a punch in the chest! I know it may not be much, but the prince who's been waiting for you all this time is me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but whether you believe in reincarnation, if you were someone who's like, my little mermaid, and then I may not be much, but the prince who's been waiting for you all this time, me. I'm sorry. I'd fucking melt a little. I'd be like, you're a little weird, but I melted a little. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. There's a little melty, whether you're like, weirdo, but... Give you points. Maybe we can eat some cereal sometime. Oh, Is that the end of it? Oh. Oh! It's, it's weird because the extra stage really isn't... Um... It's just like the after credit scene for the bad ending. But I kind of like... But that's so... I thought, I'm like, okay, well, okay, after completing the route's bad and the extra stage will unlock. I, I don't know why I should have 100% expected it. I guess part of me expected it to be, like, a continuation from the bad end. But I guess I was just hoping it wasn't going to be like that. <sighs> and anyway. So we got to go to our, we already read the report. Okay. Short stories. Oh, what the fuck?
fuck? Kikonosuke 2, Kikonosuke 1. What are all these? What are those? What are the rest of these? What are the rest of these? Wait a minute! What the fuck are all these? It doesn't tell you. I'm assuming these are things that popped up. Ari's archive. Memory 2. I want to click on... Okay, these are the... Re I want to click on... So what? I'm going to go up here. This is a document. What's the document? I want to see if we've... I mean, obviously we've done these. Have we read this? Okay, I want to do if we... By the time you read this, I'll be gone. I always like... No, we haven't read this. So, last CG can be gained... Yeah, but we haven't read any of these. This is... Okay, I'm just gonna... Bad guide. Bad Atome Kitten. Why would you not tell us that there is... The... You're just like, the last CG can be tamed by going to Kikonosuke 2. But you don't say that there's any of the rest of this. Okay. What the fuck? Have we never read any of these? How am I going to know when we've read them and we haven't, guys? Well, the green ones, I'm not worried about. We'll read, obviously, like, the we have three Kikonosuke ones, and then we have an Azami one, which makes sense, but I guess we're reading those. But it doesn't even say anything about that in here. What the fuck? Anyway. Hello, I'm Kikonosuke Yuga. Me? A memoir? But I guess you see these... In games, with items left by characters leading to them. The ones I say stuff like, By the time you read this, I'll be gone. I always like that, so I'll do my best. I wonder what I should talk about. The events of my life just make the people who hear about them feel terrible. Azami and I were born in a village deep in the mountains, so we never really had anything to begin with. I don't remember reading this. If we read this before, I'm sorry, you can skip it, but like, I don't remember reading this at all. We were locked up there all the time, so we never really saw the outside world. But our hearing's really good, right? We were able to hear stories of the merchants and priests that visited the town. The place called Ito was thriving with lots of delicious things to eat. We talked about how we might be able to live a happy life there. What I really felt when I went out into the outside world was how out of place I was with how I looked, given the times. I didn't have any money to buy dyeing powders, so I made my hair look black by rubbing in stuff like charcoal and mud. Then I went to hell from the well and was saved by Sensei Takamura. It was the first time an adult was nice to me. Interesting. Sensei Takamura being nice. Well, I mean, for a devious bitch, he's nice on the surface, so. Well, they did give me a place to sleep and eat food at Enoshima, but they told me I needed to become a temple page. I don't have a problem with guys being with guys or anything, but they beat me. I hated them. I wanted to kill them. But, my lady's hands, they just felt so good. Oh well, I did get brushed by Sharaku and the others. That was nice too. Yeah, everyone's nice. They saw how I looked and not only did they not freak out, they got excited to see me that way. I suppose it's not all that weird in hell, considering there are cats that stand on their hind legs and talk. But I was happy. Yeah, there's been so many great things that happened since coming to the human realm. This is absolutely 100% how Kikonosuke would write a memoir where it's like it starts going and then all of a sudden it's over here and then it's over there and now it's and you're like, I feel like I ate some crazy pills. Like he left out a bunch of fucking shit. Like I'm glad he didn't go through his whole life story, but he went like the Ida beard and then I had guys being with guys, but then like, and then I don't mind dudes petting me and it's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> like, like, huh? Sir? Like, actually, that's exactly how my brain works, so it's not that I don't get it, but I realize how jarring it is. Hmm. I can change my room however I want. There's all sorts of things to get at the store, and this was my first time having... friends. We're all dead, so I can only go by our dates of death, but everyone's like an older brother to me. I don't want to admit it, but it makes me happy. I always thought while watching shows and movies with the archives of the human realm that I'd never have a life like this. Actually... Even at that barbecue, 
On the inside, I was actually so happy I could have cried. And it wasn't even because of the meat. But I think I really felt something within me chains when she told me a zombie... But she told Azami that she wasn't a bad girl. I cast a curse not only on Azami, but on myself, too. There was a part of me that looked away whenever I tried to consider that idea. But now, I think I can accept it all. I'm sure she might laugh at me about how simple I can be. But having my ears pet is something I really like. Remember how I reacted to her blood in the torture room? I talked to Sensei Takamura about it, in case it'd be a problem. And yet all he said was... Must work hard and discipline yourself to suppress it. No, I didn't tell him what happened in detail. It's way too embarrassing to talk about that. But, well, I'm sure he knows. The events around the incident really made me feel that I still have a long way to go, and I do intend on continuing to train myself. And although it would be best if there were no more problems, thinking about why we're all here, I'm ready to face anything. Alright, that should do it. I got a date to get to. Later! Yeah, no, we've never read that. There's no way we fucking read that. Yeah, so I'm not sure what these are. Records 16, 17, 18, and 19. Oh, I'm wondering if these are ours. But the thing is, is I'm not going to remember which ones we read and which ones we didn't. Because I don't have paper to write it down. So we'll save the green ones and maybe we'll kind of do them at the end or something. You know what I mean? But this is document Azami. So that makes sense to do. Hello, hello, everyone. It's Azamine, house cutest middle schooler. Well, I tried with that greeting, but I'm not really feeling it at all. What do you even mean I have to write a memoir? I'm sick of doing stuff like this. I had to write a hundred pages for my apology letter, so my brain's empty. Huh? You'll get a parfait from the spirit Belvedere delivered here if I do it? I see. Hmm. Alright, I'll talk. I'm sure Sis would be sad if I didn't. You already know the sad life that my brother and I lived, right? And how I came back to life and ate all those people? After I ate them, I really regretted it. I swore I'd never do anything like that again. It wasn't fair that I got hungry either. I couldn't control myself, and before I knew it, there were corpses in front of me. Just imagine being hungry and a delicious sandwich was dangling in front of you. You'd eat it, right? It said, when I was in my human form, some idiot man would always approach me and try to have their way with me. In the end, I got caught in a trap and was shot several times, which ended my short life. There wasn't a single nice thing about my life. I wonder how many times I cursed the gods and the Buddha. I feel like I was told something during my trial, but honestly, I don't remember it. I just hated everything back then. Everything that kept me trapped, as well as myself... The reason why I never vanished from hell might be because I wanted to see my brother again. Not because I was worried, but because I decided to kill him the next time I saw him. So, when you become a model prisoner, you're sent a membership to Hell's Archives, and you can study about the human realm. I went to see what it was like after so long, and of course, it's completely different from what it was when I was alive, right? There are people with hairstyles way more unique than mine, and there were so many cute things and delicious-looking foods. I thought, maybe in this world I'd be able to live a normal life. And also, Lady Shinobikni was really kind to me. She looked really happy when I did my nails, and she even put on powder and lipstick on me. And Asa looked happy watching Shinobikni as she did too. Well, Asa looks how he does all the time, right? He never smiles at all, so... Maybe he just wanted to think he was happy. I might be mistaken. What now? How should I know? That Takamura seriously doesn't hold back! He's an actual demon. I told I can go back to the human realm if I can gain complete control over my desire. Oh, right, and Fujimori. He's just crazy. He, he, he said we should still talk through letters. He needs to die. I decided for myself that I'd find a boyfriend who's smart and handsome and has a great voice and who's also tall and rich. Yet, yeah, you need to die, Fujimori. Like, I handsome and rich and get... Yet, yeah, you should need, you need to die, Fujimori. Why? So then he can join you in hell? I feel like that's what she's getting at. The, like, you need to die. It's not like, fuck you, I hate you. It's like, yeah, you need to die. So then you're here with me and I'll just, whatever. I didn't, it's not like I wanted this. God, I guess. Yeah, I really feel like you need to die, Fujimori. Because like, deep down inside she wants him to die so they can be together. 
<laughs> but it's covered with that, like, I'm always telling him he should die. Yeah, because you want him. No, no, what? Gosh, <laughs> stupid. You're stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> Ikonosuke won. Welcome to my hideout. I've always wanted to say that. And we get to look at him this time. You can sit on that sofa bed over there. You can even lie down on it if you want. Oh, and look at this machine. I tossed it in the most I tossed it in the most high spec video card that's out now. Huh? Well, it's a computer board for graphics, and high spec ones make graphics pretty and smooth. It's a gamer's point of pride. And this chair is built to be really nice on the body for long gaming sessions, and these figures on the shelves are all my treasures. He's totally me. The, all this shit all over my walls and all the cards and all the anime, but they're all my treasures. <laughs> High five, bro. I get it. Uh, w well, my most precious treasure is you. You're in a totally different league. You really are important, believe me. But it's a bit embarrassing inviting you over to my room now. All right. Sensei Takamura prepared some questions for me to answer. Um, my birthday's July 7th. Tanabata. You never forget it, right? I'm glad my sign is cancer. The crab shape looks tasty. My blood type is A. I'm glad I'm a cancer because that looks delicious. <sighs> oh my god, this nerd. By the way, the idea of blood types didn't exist when I was alive, right? It feels so strange. The progress of civilization is amazing. I mean, in the past, there were dice games and Karuta to play, and Shonaku seems to like that stuff, but I prefer Macabre. Next, my hobbies are, of course, video games. I like Macabre the most, but I'll basically play anything. So many consoles came out while I was living in the Black Rope Hell, and I've been thinking of collecting all the retro ones at some point. Otherwise, I'm not sure if you'd really call this a hobby, but I like thinking of what to put in rice balls. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny as a hobby. Now, I haven't done much cooking, but you can fill your stomach by cooking some rice, sticking something in, and rolling it up into a ball, right? And hey, you can also eat them in one hand while you play video games. They're the perfect all-purpose food. I sometimes wonder what might be good in them and look them up on my phone before I sleep. Maybe ham and cheese would be fun. Oh, right. I thought you might like this stuff called Tamari Nigiri, a pretty rice ball. It's cute, huh? You want to try some? Let's make some together sometime. Oh, but they might be nice to make for someone's birthday. I like to hang out with everyone, so I want to just use whatever I can as an excuse to try out all sorts of things. Oh, and let's have some cereal together alone again. Next is my favorite soap. <laughs> you already know this. I mean, we're both using it. I talked about this before, but I really can't stand synthetic smell and stuff. I start getting a headache as I'm smelling it. Next is... Huh. The favorite part of your... Lover? Sensei Takamura, you can't ask this kind of stuff! <laughs> you can just picture fucking Sensei Nono being like, <laughs> favorite part of your lover. What? You want to know? Well, I guess it has to be fingers or maybe hands? Being pet by your hands is just the most amazing feeling. I want you to keep petting me forever. That's fucking adorable. You feel so gentle and soft, and it feels like you really care about me. And that makes me happy. Uh, what am I saying? Alrighty, answer the questions. Hey, so, as a reward, would you mind maybe holding me? <laughs> Aww. That's so cute. These are great. What am I thinking? I can just put a little post-it note on my fucking computer. Say which ones we did. Um. Well, I guess, because I'm going to guess those other ones are us. Anyway. Alright. Laundry's all dried, too. I have to say, dryers are such a convenient invention. Even the washing was only done by hand in the past. Progress of the human realm really is amazing. That's literally what Kikonosuke just said. He was thinking about, like, Video games and rice balls. Oh, well, blood types. He was talking about blood types. But, like, washing machines. Uh, if I think of things like that, I might be called an old woman again. I need to be careful. Next thing you know, you're going to be really excited about new dish towels for the kitchen, bitch. 
Listen, that's how you know you're old. When you were a kid, you wanted toys for Christmas, and when you get older, you're like, Oh, yay, a new pan! Awesome! Wait, what the fuck happened to me? Oh, the lights in the living room are on. I don't hear anyone, though. To be fair, I get toilet paper for Christmas, and I get fucking excited. Okay? Get the giant Costco thing of toilet paper. And you know, the only reason I'm excited about it is because I don't have to buy it now. It's one less thing I have to pay for, for a while. You know what I'm saying? So, like, listen. And it's like, I get a giant thing of tissues, and it's like, fuck yeah, I don't have to buy tissues, paper dolls. Yeah, I don't have to buy paper. Bro. I'm just saying, when you don't have to buy, like, toilet paper for a long-ass time, at, tissues fucking for most of the year, like, I'm very simple. Buy me things that I don't want to have to, I don't have to buy my allergy pills, so I, my mom gets me a year supply. Granted, it comes in a year supply in the bottle, it's like 20 bucks, so like, whatever. But I'm like, it's 20 bucks that I save and I can spend on other fun things. So that's why, as an adult, Christmas is sad, because every kid looks at you and you're like, you get toilet paper, and you're like, I don't have to buy it my damn self, so fuck yeah. Buy whatever I want with my money. Yeah. So, Woo! Paper product Christmas! Anyway. Oh, the lights in the living room are on. I don't hear anyone, though. This one we get a CG with, so. I wonder who... Oh. I noticed him there and immediately went quiet. I guess Kikonosuke fell asleep on the chair. I quietly walk over to him to hear the sound of his peaceful breathing as he slept. I feel bad to have to wake him up since he seems to be sleeping so soundly that he might catch a cold like this. So peaceful sleeping. No one's around and it's late at night. After looking around me, I combed through his hair as he slept. He seems so innocent when he's sleeping like this. He's so cute. He's fluffy and adorable when he's a wolf, but he looks cute sleeping like he is now, too. I love you, Kikonosuke. If you're gonna say that, then kiss me. Did you really think I wouldn't notice you walk in this way or hear your voice? It's me we're talking about here. You're so terrible pretending to sleep like that. You're one to talk. Stop calling me cute. But, but you are. I'm just two years younger than you, and we're both dead anyway. Being different in age doesn't even matter. Well, still. Take it back. No! Look at you being so stubborn again. Listen, Uga. Being called cute isn't necessarily related to you being younger than me. Uh-huh. You can use it for someone who's important to you, too. What? People might use that word when they think of how important someone is to them. I see. Well, I suppose we could say you convinced me. I guess. No, wait! Oh, right. I met that person again today while she was on her walk with the dog she found. She said she chose a name for her dog. Kiyosh uh, Kiyoshiro. It had a lovely bandana collar on. Kiyoshiro? I see. It's got a great name. It's so good to hear. Kiyoshiro. And it seems like she passed the interview at that rice port shop. She said she'll be starting tomorrow. I want to go there to eat. Let's go. Well... That's what I want to say, at least, but she might be nervous on her first day there. How about the day after? We have to bring Tama with us, too. Oh, right. So, hey, I've been thinking about something. What's wrong? Tell me. Fujimori said he wanted to write a letter to Izami, but it's a bit too soon for that, huh? Too soon? How? He should write it right now. What? No way. Izami's still a middle schooler. A letter won't hurt. Um, she's never gonna age. Uh, but, well... Then let me ask this, just hypothetically, okay? If you and I got separated, would you write to me right away? Of course I would. I'd get it to you that day. That's my point. What? Well, but, you know... I know Azami's important to you, but you really need to let go of your little sister, big brother. Ikonosuke timidly rubbed his collar. Yeah, we're not children like how we were when we were separated. And Zami's essentially found her own prince. The one who'll protect her isn't me. Fujimori's a good boy. I know that, 
It's not as if I don't approve of Fujimori or something like that. But after reuniting with Azami, I want to be sure I protected her this time. And he really didn't have a chance to. But now you can talk to her whenever you want. Unlike her prince, her brother can go to hell at any time. Although I imagine she'll just ignore that I exist again. But if she's finally able to be happy this time around, that's fine by me. In exchange for how much she missed out on when she was alive, this time I want her to be happy. It was so cute watching him as he spoke his wish so wholeheartedly that I couldn't help but try and take his hand. However... Hey, wait a second! You tried to change the subject just earlier! What? No, that's not what I... Let's do this over. I'm going to sleep, so wake me up with a kiss. There was a scene like that in a show from the human realm. You really felt like when they were a couple? That seemed nice, doesn't it? It really felt like they were a couple. That seems nice, doesn't it? I read that wrong, but whatever. I suppose that does sound very much like something couples do, but... It's embarrassing to be actually asked to do this. It's embarrassing, but... Alright, go to sleep then. Yes! Look at his little ears. I'm nervous. Oh, there's our CG. Kinosuke, wake up. I lightly put my lips on his as I move to get back and as I move to get back up. More. Oh. His arms snuck around behind my back, making me unable to get away. No one that's over in just a second. I want a more proper one. Just listen to him. I do think this part of him is cute, too, but if I tell him that, I'm sure he'll start sulking again. Like this? I pressed my lips on him harder than earlier and started to feel jolts in my own body. Yeah, like this. More. This time he moved to kiss me. As if eating ice cream, his lips grazed against me, making it difficult to stay silent. You know, I really like kissing. I'm not moaning for her. Doing this... Makes me really happy, we can tell by your little pokey ears. They were the only sound heard from the otherwise silent living room. The sounds coming from him licking his lips mixed with his heavy breathing made me feel like his prey. I just wish we could stay kissing like this forever. Have you ever thought that too? Right now, do. Yeah, you crave me, don't you? God! Damn, that's a smooth-ass fucking line, bro. Damn, kid. My embarrassment made me want to run away, but even as I tried, he grabbed onto my back even tighter than before. Crave me even more, and I'll... Crave you more, too. Like, son of a bitch, he's really good. I felt him tremble as I gently caressed his ear. Oh. As I gently ran my hands over his back, we continued to exchange a deep, deep kiss. Lovely. Like, goddamn. I, uh, so I'm wondering what these ones are. Memory records, should we do these? Like, okay, alright, so the Goemon ones are red. Sharakus are green, but then all these other ones are green, but they're not all Sharakus, you know what I mean? So those are Yona, okay, so and then this one's Jack. Okay, that explains all those. What's this one? Oh, that's King Enma. Interesting. Oshichi, Kamuro, Takamura, Shiroku, Shin, Chisei, Shinobikni. We got a Zami. Well, that's interesting. We didn't open Satoru's, so he's going to come up later. So uh, everybody has one, but it's interesting that... So several of them are probably going to open up during other routes. Hmm. I would guess. So we'll just, I guess we'll just read these at the end. So we'll do like the memory record. So the other ones are fine. Um. We, oh, actually. Yeah, because that's one, two, three. Oh, so we did that one side, 4 and 14. We did those 1 and 2. Okay. I think that's going to be easy, but I'm just going to do the... I'm going to write down which ones we do. 
So we've done, we'll do 16, 17, 18, and 19. So I remember that we did this row. You know what I mean? And then those ones are easy to remember. Okay. So we'll do these. So we'll go a little bit long this time. And my bird's being a cunt, but... Hey, Tama, is it shitting season for you two? Okay, so maybe it's they're related to certain characters, so that explains. Okay. Meow, meow. Did I leave a mess somewhere, meow? Well, I just find a lot of hair around. Well, you're right, actually, meow. Jeep's brushing me, but... How about I do some brushing for you? Meow. Are you trying to win me over with a bribe? I'm not. I just know how hard you work. Meow. Then perhaps I'll ask for a brushing meow. Hey, are these horns real? Of course they are, meow. They appeared when I passed the test to be part of Enma Palace, meow. <laughs> so that's where they came from. They look cool. They suit you. Are you plotting to take out the general by first aiming for a cat? What? That's ridiculous. I'm not plotting anything. Oh, well, those are cute. They're just tiny little things. All right, that's cool. I thought they were going to be a little bit longer like the other ones. I like that these are like mini ones. Hey, everyone. I made us dinner. Chicken Sobero on a giri. Oh, very nice. Thanks a bunch. I get hungry so fast after working out. I was already making some for myself, so I made more. There's no difference in cooking one or two things of rice. Sobero can be microwaved. Things. I'll take care of the dishes. There's plenty of frozen ingredients at the grocery store, so there's no shortage of these. Time sure have changed, huh? Refrigerators are pretty amazing. I can't believe you can get cold water or ice anytime you want. Refrigerators are pretty fucking amazing, but... By the way, I saw this on the internet, but there was a machine in the past here in Japan meant for making people taller, right? Oh, yeah, ones where you tie someone's hands and feet and stretch them vertically while breaking their joints and bones. That's like a torture machine. No, I don't mean torture devices like that. The one where you're tied to a water wheel and sent spinning with it forever? I told you not those kinds of things! You mean the devices where you hang upside down that are supposedly good for your health? If so, it's been proven that it doesn't make you taller. What? Uh, I... See... Right. Yeah, there's no way you get taller. I'm just that. How oh, cute. Okay, these are like ridiculous little side stories. Like, I kind of like that these are almost like little things that could have been sprinkled in, but they were like, no, 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 we'll just save them and put them in the after things. Hey, Shuraku, teach me how to paint nails. Huh? You said so before, remember? That you're good at painting them? Well, yeah, I guess. I am an artist. What? Did our lady ask you to paint hers for her? What? No, she didn't. I it's me. I wanted to try painting my own, that's all. Sure. Your own nails, huh? Well, firstly, the trick is to remove excess polish from the brush at the tip of the jar. After, start from the tips. Uh-huh. Remove polish from the brush and start at the tips. And then paint down the middle, and then the sides. I see. So there's an order to it all. That's pretty detailed. Well, that's news to me, because I always start at, like, the base and paint down. and never start and paint the tip and then do the rest of it. Never done that in my motherfucking life, doing my nails. Never. That's why I'm not a manicurist or an artist, clearly. And finally, you ask your partner, how's that? Staring at them and then kissing them. Staring? Th what? Damn it! Why do you always have to mess with me? I told you I'm painting my own nails! Yeah, and then come show me after you're done. I'll check to see if you put it on correctly. F fine! I'll put it on perfectly, just so you just wait! He doesn't actually think you fooled me, right? <laughs> you know what? I love these. These are great. Good more. I heard what happened. You confessed to Azami? What? What? How did you find out about that? I have bad ears, after all. No, you're terrible, Mr. Takamura. 
That's an invasion of privacy. No, oh, don't be such a spoil sport. Come on and talk to me about love. I'll have the usual morning course. Understood. So, so, when are you having your date on the shores of the Sanzu River? I don't know. I'm the one who wants to know if I can even get into hell. If you work hard, the Great King may grant special permission for you to travel there. But she may return to the human realm before that. What? Aww! A romance between a girl from hell and a human boy! Takamura, there's about to be another wonderful legend about the Sanzu River, huh? S -s Stop that! She might be regretting all of this by now. That's not true. I'm sure she's imagining the face of the one she likes at the riverbed right now. I hope so. And <laughs> you! Is that a sneeze? That's strange. I don't have a cold or anything. Uh, could it be that guy is talking about me? Fujimori, if you're eyeing another girl, you're gonna get torn to shreds. It was so adorable, and then they wrapped it up with that. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 wait. 20 opened up. Okay, okay. I saw that, guys. I saw it. Don't worry. Bird, shut up! God, you're such a douche. Sorry, I screamed in your ear. I have something serious I need to talk to you all about. It's an emergency that could threaten our very lives here. What's wrong? Today in the laundry, I found four pairs of the same underwear. What? Excuse me. These. Look at these. Hey. You guys bought jump shit underwear too. Jump sheet underwear. Jump sheet. Whatever. Well, I got them because they look like they'd be a nice fit. Oh my god, you all. And then somebody wa and you washed your laundry together and now you don't know whose underwear is who. That's like indirect sex. <laughs> If sharing a straw is indirect kissing, you wearing each other's underwear is like indirect groping each other's balls, is all I'm saying. So have fun with that one. I got them because they're mostly cotton. I've always worn them. I see. I suppose coincidences like this can happen with four guys living together. I can't live like this. You guys have to write your names on these. <laughs> D don't be stupid. I can never do anything as embarrassing as that. <laughs> I imagine this might happen, so I put a green mark on the tag in line with permanent marker. It's this one here. I should have expected no less from you, Lord Toshusai. All right, we should take a lesson from him and write in our favorite colors. And then I call blue, same as my cup. I have yellow, then. I'll use red. So... How do we know whose is whose for the other three pairs? We have to analyze them until we're satisfied with our choice. You should be able to pick out your own things from others. We need to. They're the exact same underwear, and the th you three chuckle fucks are gonna just be- And we're gonna walk in and be like, What kind of fucking morons do we live with that they're all staring at man panties? <laughs> This is the greatest thing ever! R right. It's- No, please! Oh, I needed more! I needed- I needed a moment where we walk in and we're like, I walked in and see them staring at man panties and I'm very confused and I... Decide to walk away! Holy fucking shit, that's hilarious. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna guess for each... Love interest, we unlock. So these would all be Sharaku. These, I'm going to guess that's how it goes. You know what I mean? Because these are all on the Kikonosuke kind of thing. These ones are all going to be different. Depending on who we unlock. But I would guess that these are all Goemon's memory records. These will all be Yona's, Sharaku's. And then those will be Jack's. So. Alright, so I figure that's that, that'll be good. We'll figure that out that way. Okay, anyway. So, we've read everything then. So let's go. I like those little short things. Those are fucking amazing. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I don't love is that one of Ikonosuke's 
CGs doesn't even have him in it. You know what I mean? It's just a zombie, but it's all right. It's fine. It is what it is. Uh, I'm just going to still keep a note of those memory records, 16 through 20, just to make sure when we do the next route that like, okay, yeah, 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 that is what's happening. But that feels like the pattern. So I think we'll be good. All right. Well, here we go. Oh, this one's so beautiful, but it's so heartbreakingly sad. Look at his sweet little face. Oh. But we look like us, and Azami looks like our hair, but Kikonosuke's face. That one we already had. And this is our other new one. Okay. I love the one from our like bad scenario ending. It's so sad, it's but it's so pretty. Okay. Ugh. This one's good too though. No hands. Okay, it's all those different versions. I don't know, like, for the because like this is like so you know, you know, we did all the bad endings and everything. It's still a beautiful CG. And look at the sad little face. Oh, it's so touching. So, you know. Um, yeah. We'll just, uh. I do wish in the memory records it would say, like, new or something for the ones that you haven't done. You know what I mean? So you would know easier. But, fine. Uh, but yeah, that is everything. And again, none of this is posted, so you haven't seen a single fucking second of this game yet. Holy hell. But that's, even with things going up every day, like, I don't even know. We might start our next route before you see anything. So I hope you're enjoying this, because, like, I don't know, guys. It's been, like, 20-some-odd parts, hasn't it? This is part 23 been 23 plus hours you know um but oh good for us we get to do yona next oh not gonna lie i'm kind of into it i love him he is such a jackass he kind of turns around like he gets a little softer but he is the perfect marshmallow He's my marshmallow because he's always like crusty on the outside. Like, going on always kind of, yeah, whatever. Like, a jerk. but it's like, you're just fronting. You've always been kind of nice. And like, Kikonosuke acts like a little tool, but like, it's just a cinnamon bun. Sharaku acts like a horn is a whore. <laughs> we like the flirty whores, okay? But like, Yona is the perfect, he's the marshmallow. Like, he's absolutely like the perfect marshmallow character. Like, you're crusty and bitchy on the outside, but you're gooey and soft on the inside again i still don't know how the hell we ever came across a character was it van helsing or was it uh um can't think oh my god oh you know what i'm talking about anyway who was it what was the character that when we first came up with the whole marshmallow thing I don't know why my brain was like marshmallow. Yeah, you're crunchy on the outside and gooey on the inside. I don't understand how that made logic in my brain, but that's just what they've always been. They've been my marshmallows. I think it's because Hijikata. That's what I was trying to think of from uh, Hakuoki. I'm not. I I'm gonna pretty sure it was. Okay, Van Helsing was the first marshmallow character we came across, but I don't know if that was where the term was coined in my heart. So. It's because they turn into soft, gushy little marshmallows. So it's like, he's a marshmallow! So somehow that just became characters that end up like that, that are just like assholes on the outside in the very beginning, that are kind of like dicks to you, then turn all soft and gushy, and they're marshmallows. So like it, it kind of makes sense, but it still makes no sense. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's just how we do things here. No goddamn sense. But... One of you guys will remember and tell me, oh, it was absolutely Van Helsing. He was the first, because you remember shit that I say and do better than I do. I don't know. But anyway, so uh, I had fun. This has been a great time. It's been a good time. We've had a fun time in this route. Kikonosuke's route was great. I really enjoyed it. And for him being a character that is probably, I don't want to say like my least favorite, but you know, he's an adorable little baby face. I'm not into the adorable little baby face characters. 
I can usually appreciate them as a character, as a friend, as whatever, and the route itself, but, like, they're not my favorite. It's always, like, they're never going to be my favorite. But I like when they kind of pull it out and you're like, but the route was so fucking good. Shit. If he, if he's the character you saw and we're like, I love him, I can't see how you wouldn't enjoy this route because it was great. Like, it was a good ride. It was fun. Like, Yes, I'm here for it. And he had so many moments with lines. You're like, you are suave, motherfucker. Holy shit. Yes. Okay. So, bravo. But yeah, so. um, oh! We get to start Yona next, though. I'm excited. He's my favorite. Not to say that the rest of the routes aren't going to impress me, but out of just off the bat, like, just something about you, motherfucker. You're just an asshole, and I love it. You're the perfect asshole. So we're going to do that. For me, that'll be, like, maybe a week or so. For you, it'll be tomorrow. Um, but yeah. I gotta catch up on our other game because I'm behind, so. Maybe this one will have started posting by the time I start Yono's Route. I'll let you know. But anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.